Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And today I'm gonna to be sharing all of my empties, my products that I used up. I feel like product empty videos are very OG YouTube, but personally I really like watching these because I feel like you really get to see what that person is actually using. Not just that they say they're using, but what they're actually using every day since they used it up completely. So. Anyways, I'm also gonna be talking about if I am repurchasing them, if I liked it enough to also use and repurchase. So anyways, just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, let's start with makeup. Last time I did this video a few years ago, I had the same bag and the handle's broken, it's, this is just my empties bag. So, so first thing that I'm pulling out of the bag are two Mario Badescu facial sprays. I love these so much. However, I just recently found the Morphe um, prepping spray, setting spray, the continuous mist, and I am obsessed with it. So I am trading the Mario Badescu in for the Morphe one. I'll try to go in order if I have something in order on my face. Okay, so I do have a couple primers. I have the Maybelline Baby Skin and also the Benefit Professional. Honestly, I feel like both of these primers did about the same um, as far as filling in my pores. So I still use the Maybelline Baby Skin. I liked the, the Benefit Professional, but I feel like this one did just as good of a job. So I repurchased this and I'm still using it, this one. Okay, next on the face is my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This is my favorite foundation that I have honestly ever used for my skin type. I have super, super dry, flaky skin. And if my if my um, foundation is too thick or too matte or anything like that, it, my skin looks awful. So I love the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It still allows my natural skin to peek through. It doesn't completely um, mattify my face or dry it out. I'm like, I love the way that the CC cream looks. So I'm wearing it on my face right now and I will be using this foundation for a very long time. Next I up on my it. face is concealer. And for me, I use concealer in place of my foundation on most days. Therefore, I go through concealer so quickly. So I have a lot of concealers. I'm um, in a lot of repeat concealers. I have four of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite concealer. Um, I love it for anywhere on my face, spot concealing, regular concealing, using it as a foundation. I love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It just covers so well, but doesn't make me look cakey at all. So I will always, repurchase these. I just, I love them so much and I go through them so quickly. And I also tried the NYX um, HD concealer. I tried two different shades and it's fine. I won't repurchase them. I didn't like it enough to repurchase. And then my other favorite, favorite concealer, no surprise to anyone, it is the sh Tarte, sh I always say Shart, but it is not Shart. It's Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> It looks so beautiful on the skin. It looks great with foundation, on its own, without foundation. It, it makes my skin look hydrated while also still giving me good coverage. So I love the Tarte Shape Tape. It is one of my favorites and I will be repurchasing this for a super long time. So next up for eyebrows, it is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Powder. Um, and it comes with two sides, a powder side and a, I think like a, more of like a, like a pomade side, but I just use the powder side. I love this eyebrow powder so much. I have it on my eyebrows today. Um, I have it in the shade light. And for me, it lasts on my eyebrows all day. I just use a little brow gel and I am good to go for the entire day. I love this brow powder. It is so stinking inexpensive. Uh, so I'm a huge fan of that. Next thing that I used up is the MAC Prep and Prime. This is a, like a stick, um, felt tip highlighter and um, I have it in the shade of radiant rose and I really tried to use this up because when things are expensive I just want to use it up and not waste my money um, But I just didn't I didn't like it all that much I just feel like a lot of other highlighters work a lot better than this um, I they say you can use it like as a highlighter or you can use it under under your eyes to brighten it up before you put makeup on and I just didn't I felt like it just didn't it added an extra layer on my skin and I just didn't care for that. I just, no, I didn't love this. Didn't even fully finish it and I will be repurchasing. Last category, oh gosh, I'm dropping these everywhere. Okay, last category I have for makeup are all of these that I'm dropping everywhere, mascara. So I'm gonna go through these quickly, let you know if I liked it and we'll be repurchasing. First one that I'm grabbing is the Tarte Tartist Mascara. 
I really liked it, but I didn't, I wasn't so in love with it that I need to repurchase it. Did I use it all the way through and I really enjoyed it? Yes, but I have not repurchased it yet. Maybe one day. Um, next is my favorite, 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 favorite mascara of all time. And it is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. This is the, this has been my favorite mascara for years and years and years. I love it so, so much. And the carbon black one, it's just so black on your lashes. It's just, it's so, mm, I love this formula so much and it's inexpensive. So win-win for me. This is already using it, used it on my eyelashes today. So I will always repurchase these. Next favorite that I use on my bottom lashes every single day is the, who is this by? CoverGirl, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher in this lime green tube. And what I love so much about this um, mascara for the bottom lashes is that it is a very dry formula. So it is not, like one thing I hate about using normal mascara on my bottom lashes is then it drips onto your um, under eye and then it looks like a hot mess and it just looks so bad. With this, it is such a dry formula that it still gives you a mess like that you have mascara on your lashes but it never ever transfers even if you have like unset concealer it never transfers it is seriously the best lower lashes mascara ever i will always repurchase this give it a shot if you suffer from raccoon eyes from wearing mascara on your bottom lashes this is the best one that i've ever tried i've been using it for years and i will always repurchase it i'm very passionate about that if you can't tell i also went through one of the maybelline sensational mascaras I used it, didn't love it enough to repurchase. Um, I also tried the Pure, I tried the travel size, of the Pure Cosmetics Triple Threat Mascara. I didn't love it. I obviously used it up, but I didn't love it enough to ever repurchase. It gave me the feeling of like having fibers on my lashes, and I just feel like it feels like they're getting in my eyes. I just didn't love it. Um, it made my eyelashes long, but I didn't love the way that it made my eyelashes look if that makes sense. Next mascara is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I really, really, really enjoy this mascara. Um, I repurchased it once, I haven't repurchased it again, so I liked it enough to repurchase, but I just, it's not one of those ones that's like on my list at all times, but I did really enjoy it. Um, next is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I wanted to like this mascara so badly because everyone raved about it, but I didn't love it. I just didn't feel like it made my lashes look better than the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. That's what I compare everything to. Um, and like, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it enough to replace that with my Carbon Black. So it was aight. And then last but not least for mascara is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. This is my favorite high-end mascara that I've ever tried. I have repurchased this a couple times. Um, this is the travel size, but this is definitely my favorite high-end mascara it makes my eyelashes look so full and so long and i don't have to work super hard to make them look that way you don't have to apply a few layers you just do a solid layer and they look so bomb so this is yeah definitely my favorite high-end mascara the Too faced better than sex mascara it's a win that was it for makeup next up is hair and i don't have too many for hair because i'm very repetitive with my products so first thing that I continue to purchase about once a week is the Dove dry shampoo. I go through these like hot cakes. I love them so much. Um, I've recently um, dabbled into the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo and that's in close competition with the Dove. I love Dove, it'll always be my OG, I'll always have it on hand, but I also really do like the Not Your Mother's um, dry shampoo as well. Other dry shampoo that I tried but I did not love is the Suave dry shampoo. I only have one bottle. I used it up, but I didn't love it enough to repurchase. Um, the other product that I've used so many bottles of is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I love this stuff for my hair. It's making a heart. I love this stuff. It's incredible. It is. Um, it adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, blah, 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 a bunch of other things. Well, this is the best. I love this stuff. I use it after every single shower. It makes my hair be able to do whatever I want it to. Um, it makes it to where it's not so limp. It adds so much like life to my hair. When I don't use this on my hair, it looks, it does nothing. Um, oh, it just, oh, it's so good. So good. Okay, similar to probably you, I have a candle obsession. Um, I go through them super quickly. 
I love them so much, Bath and Body all the way. And I've saved some of them, so let's talk about them. Um, first one that I saved, just the empty one, and I love so much for spring and summer is called Indigo Sky. It is fresh bergamot, airy musk, white cedarwood. Oh, it smells like a clean house with like a hint of floral. Another one that I went through that I loved so much is Fresh Sparkling Snow. This is, um, let's see, what is the... Oh, Icy Pear Frozen Melon Frosted Musk. Mm. I swear it smells just like Fresh Sparkling Snow and it's kind of hard to smell them because they're so low now. Um, but I loved Fresh Sparkling Snow for like the holiday season. It smelled stinking delicious. Um, another it. one that, oh, this is an OG that I love so much is um, Aruba. That smells like a stinking vacation. Oh, I love how, oh yeah. Enjoy an instant escape to Aruba with this blend of sun ripened citrus, warm sands and refreshing ocean air. It seriously smells like a beachy vacation. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much I like this. So one that I went through in the fall time is a very popular one, Sweater Weather. I'm not gonna lie, I really liked it, but it definitely was not my favorite fall time scent. I obviously used it up because I spent money on it, but I didn't, I don't know, it was just, it was just good to me. It wasn't like incredible. The one that I did love for fall time though is my favorite, 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 number one candle of all time of any season at Bath & Body Works is Marshmallow Fireside. Oh my stars, you guys. This is the best smelling candle. And I'm sure I talked about it in my last favorites and my fall tag, a ton of videos before, but Marshmallow Fireside just gives you such an amazing, like warm, cozy feeling. It is toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. Um, next one that I really, really liked and I will repurchase for the summertime. It's a very summertime scent for me. Um, it's fresh cut lilacs. And this one is lilac bouquet, dewy greens, soft spring air. Uh, this, this scent is taking me back to like two summers ago, right when I found out I was pregnant. Just like those first like few, oh, I don't know. I'm just getting all of these like nostalgic feelings. My husband was gone a lot, a lot for work. So I was alone in the house, but I loved burning this candle. I'm just getting all of those like feelings back. It's so funny how scents take you back to like a different place. It's so funny how it's like so nostalgic. Anyways, now last bag, big old bag full of skincare. Here we go. Let's get after it. Okay, first things that I am grabbing out are four packs of the simple facial makeup removing wipes. Um, and these are good for sensitive skin, which is why I got them in the first place. These have replaced any other makeup wipe for me. However, now I strictly only use the everyday um, makeup cloth, the makeup removing cloth, the hot pink one. I am obsessed with that and I use it all the time. But if I ever have like stubborn mascara or you know the makeup cloth is dirty, I will always, always have these on hand because I love them so much. So great for sensitive skin. I never reacted, I never broke out. My face never got red while using these. These were my favorite, favorite of all time. So after I take off my makeup with a cloth or a makeup wipe, I love going in with micellar water before I wash my skin just to get any more makeup off before I cleanse it. I went through a, quite a few of the Garnier micellar water um, and I really liked them until I tried the simple micellar water, which is um, better for, it's, it's kinder to skin, it says, and it's good for sensitive skin. Once I made the switch from the Garnier to the simple one, I will never go back. I use the simple one every single day. I love it so much. And again, it is so kind and gentle to my really dry, sensitive, acne prone skin. Um, it has no harsh chemicals and no artificial perfumes or dyes. Seriously, this is so great if you have sensitive skin. It's a couple dollars more from the Garnier to the Simple, but this one has so many more pros for me, so I use this one every morning and every night still. So after I take off my makeup and after I use the micellar water, 
I will always go in and cleanse my skin. And this is the one that I use every single day when I just want a gentle exfoliant. And it is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. It is, again, so gentle on my skin, but it has really soft exfoliation to where if I have a lot of makeup on, I will feel like all of it is completely off. Yeah, I've been using it for so, so long, and I always have it in my bathroom. Let's see, what should I go to next? Okay, so after I cleanse my skin, I'm trying to go somewhat in order. So after I cleanse my skin, okay, here we go. So after I cleanse my skin, I will go in, the first step that I go in with next is a vitamin C serum. Um, and vitamin C, it helps produce more collagen in your skin. It helps reduce acne scarring. It helps reduce just the overall texture and evenness of your skin. So I use vitamin C every single time after I wash my face before I apply any skincare. So I really like the True Skin Naturals Vitamin C um, Facial Serum. I've gone through two bottles and I'm working on my third already. So after I go in with my Vitamin C Serum, then I go in with a facial oil. And I feel like it sounds like I have 17,000 steps in my skincare routine, but I kind of do because I'm trying to get my skin to the best condition that it can be. <laughs> so I use one of two facial oils. I either use the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil facial oil or the vitamin E um, overnight serum oil from the body shop. I always use one of these. The Josie Marin one is a lot thicker. So when my skin is like so, so, so dry, um, I will use this. And my skin is currently in a really dry stage right now. So I am using the Josie Marin one. So I'm always trying to experiment with the new moisturizers, daytime ones, nighttime ones, trying to see like what works best for my skin. Um, one that I tried for my daytime moisturizer was the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. Um, and I went through the entire thing. I used it on my face every morning for probably six months and I liked it, but I didn't love it enough to repurchase. So it was good, but it was nice like for my normal, you know, elbows, arms, chest, legs, like everything. Um, so I did, I liked it like to repurchase again on my body, but not my face. And then a moisturizer that I tried to use for my nighttime one, that just didn't go very well is the St. Ives Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. However, I didn't love it for my uh, nighttime moisturizer. It was just a little too thick and it clogged my pores really bad. Um, but I really, really liked using this on the rest of my skin. I used this on my skin so much while I was pregnant um, and I, it helped. I feel like it really coated my stomach so well. I loved this moisturizer. So I do have another one of these, just not for my face. Okay. so. After I apply my morning moisturizer, um, before I put on my makeup, I always go in with something under my eyes to just moisturize it a little bit more. And I've gone through so many of these over the last probably four, three or four years is the uh, Pure Cosmetics Hydrogel Lift. And it is a cooling balm to put underneath your eyes. It is so stinking hydrating so hydrating for your under eyes okay next okay let's just get these babies out of the way because i go through these so much this is my daytime moisturizer and this has been my daytime moisturizer for a couple years now oh gosh i go through so many of these and it is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel oh my stars i love a gel a hydrating gel moisturizer for the daytime Oh, it is so great for my dry and acne prone skin. I find that when I'm using like too many like cream products, it can easily clog my pores because I do have very sensitive acne prone skin. So I love, love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It is so great for my daytime moisturizer and I'm still using it to this day. I love it so, so much. Okay, next product I used up is the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. And I didn't, you know, I didn't use it as a moisturizer. I used it as like my self tanner. I don't really ever self tan, but sometimes when I want a little glow, I will always use the Jergens one. And actually I, I have used this one for years, but the one I like so much more is the Jergens, the wet skin moisturizer, the one that you use right when you get out of the shower, um, while your body is still damp, put that on and then pat dry off. You guys, I, I won't ever repurchase this one. I will only repurchase the Jergens, the wet skin one. Um, I have one in my shower. I just have, didn't use it up, so I don't have it in my bag, but I am obsessed with it. Highly suggest getting that when you just want just a little something something, but you don't want like a full blown self tan, like loving tan or anything crazy like that. So Jergens is the way to go. Next I love up, 
is some eye cream. Three tubs of the e.l.f. illuminating eye cream that I have gone through. This is such an inexpensive eye cream. This is $10 um, and I really, really enjoy this eye cream. It is not the most long lasting eye cream um, that I've ever tried like when I put it on my skin, you know, after like when I wake up the next morning, I don't feel it on my eye anymore. However, for $10, this is such a great option. Um, if, you, if you're not looking to spend 30, 40, 50, $75 on an eye cream, try the um, e.l.f. one. I really, really enjoy it. And I do feel like it is illuminating. That is another thing that I really enjoyed about it. I felt like when I put it on my under eyes, I did see a little bit of a glow um, afterwards. So we made it guys, two items left and then the same one. So exciting. So the last two items that I used up is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I love this moisturizer for my daytime moisturizer. Gosh, I feel like seeing this, I'm like, oh, I need to get another one of these. It's super moisturizing, but it does not clog your pores. It, it, it gives me the same type of result as the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Um, this one is, this one's more like luxury, obviously, because it's more expensive. I love the Clinique one. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorites, but I always alternate between one of these for my daytime moisturizer. When I'm not using this, I'm using this. These just don't let me down. The moisturizing gels, I feel like is just the way to go for me personally. Um, I tried to use the Tula like day and night cream during the day and it just didn't work for me. I need a gel consistency, but a moisturizing gel at that. So I always use one of these. I'm obsessed with both of them, but honestly the Clinique one is so good. Oh, we made it. Woo! We made it through all of my empties that I've been hoarding underneath my desk for about a year. So I'm excited to throw all of these away. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so dang much for watching. I cannot even tell you how much I appreciate you watching and supporting me and tuning in to my video today. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video and if you enjoyed videos like this, then go ahead and leave me a comment below or give me a thumbs up so I know you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.